the sea, covers over two-thirds of our planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Scuba diving allows us to peel back the blue veil that obstructs our eyes from all the magnificent things that lurk below. and rest beneath the sea. We invite you to join us as we travel and explore all that lies beneath. Hello everybody, this is Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine, and today we're diving up in Great Pond up in Ridgefield, Connecticut. We got a special invitation to come up to the pond and chase bluegills and tommy cods. So as we get in the water, we can see here's the Great Pond Welcoming Committee. Great Pond is private property, so you have to have special permission to come here. Here you can see a, I guess it's like a tarp that they put across the bottom to keep you from kicking up the bottom. I'm not really sure why that's there. So we're gonna start heading, I think it's east we're heading. We can see our next little resident. I think it's a little baby largemouth bass or smallmouth bass. Every time you go into water, it's like going to another planet. You can see why I say that. There's a big school of bluegills and all kinds of things. There's probably bluegills, pumpkin seeds, sunnies. I'm not up on my freshwater fish, so if you see something, you can call it out. Here's Liz and I think Tim's with her. And they're going to the far end of the pond. I'm just having too much fun hanging out with these fish. These guys are a little bigger. But all very friendly fish. Really surprised they didn't just dart away. Looking up underneath some of these rocks. Looking for if I have reports of snapping turtles and eels. I haven't been able to see them yet. Just these guys. And a big old rock. There's a lot of rocks in this pond, folks. And we got somebody down here trying to get away and hide. Now, if it's your first time at Squall Spring, you always follow the rope. And look at this. Somebody's got a, a weight or some kind of half a barbell weight thing going on. So somebody might have been trying to anchor a boat and lost their anchor. Even though it's really clear up in the water column, you can see if you hit the bottom too much, there goes your visibility. All that silt gets up into the water column and you can't see it too well. But we're staying far enough away from it that it's not really affecting us today. Look at this guy. He wants to say hello. He wants his close-up. As 
we get farther and farther away from the beach area, we start to come across all different kinds of yellow perch, largemouth bass, and the bluegills, and they're all hanging out here. This is a spot. We move slowly through the plants, come across this guy, largemouth bass making a break for it. Keeping up with them though. See you later, bass. This guy didn't want to move. He wasn't afraid of me for nothing. Okay, maybe a little bit. Here's Emily. Off to catch up with the rest of the group. Apparently all the fish around here like the weeds, of course, because that gets your fishing line tangled. But they're no dummies, right? Right. See? They know. Now these guys, I couldn't tell. I'm guessing that they're juvenile bass. What it looks like to me. Here's a couple more. They sure stand out with those black tails. I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff living underneath these weeds. Maybe this guy's dinner. But I really don't want to move anything and kick it up. Then there's these big clusters of twigs and weeds that act as great overhangs. And the bass like to hang underneath them. It's like this guy. As a diver, you want to be real careful. You really don't want to go underneath stuff like this because if you're not paying attention, you could get caught up in it and then you make a big mess. You can see some of the logs are so saturated they just fall to the bottom. Some stay on top, create shady little patches. Some are halfway down. You can also get tangled up in. Yep. That's what it's like down here. Now we're going to go a little deeper. It starts to get really cold. It probably went down about 20 or 25 degrees. This big old tubular thing. Some kind of a metal. And then we're going to go all the way to the bottom as far as we can where we are. And it's about 26, 27 feet. And the bottom almost looks like snake skin. It's got this really strange pattern to it. Not a lot of sunlight getting down here, folks, is my guess. Because of just a touch of marine growth. And as we make our way back towards the beach, come across this guy. Hanging out in some, I guess that's algae. And it's a pretty cool eel. 
I did see another one, but I didn't catch him because he was way too quick. He scared the heck out of me. But this guy's just kind of mellow. At this time, I'd like to say thank you to Mr. John Porter for inviting us in to dive in Great Pond. And if you're interested in learning how to scuba dive, you or Mr. Eel, you can contact our friend Tim Thomas at divingbratsclub.com. He's located up in the Danbury area, and he'd be more than happy to teach you how to scuba dive. Make sure you tell him we sent you. If you're interested in seeing more of our local waters, you can check us out at squallsmarine.com and use our interactive dive map. You can also find us on Facebook under Squalls Marine, and we're on Instagram. We look forward to seeing you. Until then, I'm Captain Dennis.